All right, we should be live with Toho Rock Maiden. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, commentators. Yep, hello there, I'm Pigeon. I'm doing a little bit of a commentary uh, presentation. And uh, we also have Tosoi, who will be more on the technical uh, expertise. Hello there. But hello, everyone. So... As Ned is a speedrunner from Japan, he has done a lot of uh, Mega Man stuff. And uh, he also has done Rock Maiden SC yesterday, with a run 15 seconds away from World Record, a must watch. And now he will be tackling the sequel that has a lot more content in it, so I won't be speaking too much. Uh, Tassel will be all around for, for this on his end. So, good luck with this, Gambate Kudasai, uh, when you want for the countdown. Alrighty, I will give us a countdown and we can get going. We are going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, so um, as you can see, unlike in most fan games, you don't play as Reimu in this one, but instead of Hijiri Byaguren. And. Yeah, the basic gameplay mechanics are very similar to um, a proper Mega Man game as well. So there is not any big differences with most of the stuff. So it will be very same as you would expect them to be as well. And we will play first Aya stage because the weapon that we will get from her is going to be very, very useful. And you will see that in the later sections um, very briefly. So Pigeon can um, talk about a little bit of the background of the game. Yeah, so this is the uh, second se series of Rock Maiden games made by uh, Capricorn. So VFC tackles the old school NES Mega Man aspects, whereas the Rock Maiden series is more about uh, more in the line of Mega Man X and Mega Man Zero, as with the graphics and how the uh, the stage works. And we tackle this first stage because it's kind of annoying because there's kind of a wind uh, effects going on, but also because of the weapon, is, as uh, Tassoi said, will be very useful later on uh, for for skips and zips, and also to uh, do a little bit of platforming uh, slightly quicker overall. Yeah, the Aya stage already has one um, auto scroller section. So there's actually very little to do uh, to make any, anything uh, faster, so it's also that way a very good stage to be suited to be played first. And very briefly, Arsenal is going to reach the boss room to face Aya. She will also be spending a lot of time aerially, so Buster is also a very good weapon to suit to be uh, for the battle, because you can always like jump and shoot. Like there will be some weapons that are only effective while you are on the ground. Like here, here you can see the leaf tornado. That will be the weapon that you will get upon defeating. That was really clean fight. Not too much any time losses. But yeah, soon we will see zips that. Um, will be used throughout the run very often. They will like um, also give you plenty of boost and skip some of the sections and even um, floors beneath. Um, they are not going to be used too much on Marisa's stage, however, but it's the main weakness for her, so that's why it's natural to pick her next. Also, the stage order throughout the history of the speedrunning has been um, changed a lot, like especially as in suit, he has sometimes chosen Nazarene as the second stage as well, but I think there's not any big difference in those orders. Yeah, like uh, also, uh, one, also one good. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Also one good um, thing about the tornado is what comes to ladders because you can just summon it beneath it and get a huge elevating boost. And here we saw the first zip. And so far in the game, that and we will see plenty of those in the future as well. So 
So be, make sure that your own sibs, if you have them, are closed because Asnail is most likely going to use them. <laughs> yeah, if, if it goes as well as yesterday, you, you might see a lot of crazy stuff going on. No, oh, even, yeah, he yeah. tried to zip through that boss to the boss room and the, then right away, but that one failed, unfortunately. So now he's fighting as Maris and it's very easy to predict her movements. So that was very nice and clean fight. Mm. Yeah, you can probably have so seen plenty of Oilman references back from Mega Man 6. And yeah, the mechanics are also very, very same, so that the floor is not lava, but instead oil, and the mokos would just flame it up, and it would, I think it was, it is instant kill if you hit the flames. And up next we play Sanai's level, and in the underground section you will see plenty of zips to be used as well. First section is uh, actually rather dull. Just in, in, um, opti optimize all of your slides and dashes. Now in the underground, the way the zip zip works is that you um, summon the leaf tornado and uh, near to an enemy, and then you before um, during the period when you are jumping onto the tornado, um, you will go to take hit from an enemy, and during those um, when you are taking hit and that animation is going on. And if you, during that time, jump to the tornado, you will, of course, rise up along with it. But once those, what that animation stops and you start having iframes, then the game doesn't know what to do if you are hitting a ceiling and then it just sends you zipping and it will save a lot of time occasionally. On to the fight now. It's also pretty decent, um, easy boss to deal with, especially on her level when the lasers will just ricochet off walls. Especially in the boss rush section when there's ceiling, so that you can actually save a lot of um, weapon energy if you are lacking it. Because the, you can get two hits with just one laser if you don't right. It's not optimally fast, but it's often worth to use it. And then we have the, I, I would say the best weapon of this game. It's pretty similar to the Water Wave from Mega Man 5. Actually even slower than that, so... <laughs> and now we have Nazrin's level that also has very interesting zips being used as well. That we will see later on on the level. Oh, the dark world moment when my neighbor is having some gun kind of small renovating and drilling noises. I hope they don't carry through the mic. I don't hear anything, don't tell yeah, you. <laughs> Can also appreciate all the decorations, like uh, with the sun effect, the wear it at the Moria Shrine with the two goddesses statues as well in the ground. Just like in FC1, just a lot of work has been put to cover sections where uh, painted and such. And this stage has uh, two of these uh, mini-bosses, and the first one cannot be skipped, but the other one can be skipped by using zips. So, let's see if Asnel can get that done. Nice. So the floor zip going on. <laughs> well. And yes, he got the zip, and that's how you skip the other mini-boss, and that saves a nice amount of time. We had a good execution with the zips so far, only one has been missed so far at Marissa's level. That was the very scary looking last part of the stage. And next we have a Nazrin that behaves very similarly to Snake Man. And then you have very obnoxious of weakness against her, so placement, placing these water wave shots is very difficult. You will also have to like fire them beforehand and so that um, Nazrin would walk into them, that would be, of course, dealing lots of damage for being the weakness. And also Asnel was using the sh shoulder swap feature so that um, he could do some additional damage at times when the water wave usage wasn't possible or not even fast at all. So that's really good optimis optimization with your con and 
a ability to deal damage constantly. Now we have Murasa's level, which is probably the uh, speedrun wise the revolutionary level. This is. Um, I don't know when or who found the first. the zip for the first time, but at least when I found it, it was during this level. I, um, in the, this very part. I was just wondering if I could put out those water waves and just happened to have um, this same Ayas weapon. Just I tried it. I didn't see the flow behind the tornado animation and I probably thought that did it got put out and then I walked forward and of course the zip then happened and I was like so oh my god what happened? And it didn't take long to replicate the glitch and thus the constant zipping was born. Yeah, like I think Snell uh, just studied the game for like a week or two before just taking world records everywhere for all the games. So. Yeah, he was doing very constant and very good job with all the uh, Rock Maiden games as well. That was a pretty risky tactic of going inside the boss so that all of your shots would immediately hit. It's very fast because you don't have to wait for the previous shots to disappear, because only three can be visible at a time on screen. But luckily he had enough health, so he didn't have to face death during that strat. And Murasa's um, boss fight, that's just mostly just being using the shield. With that low HP, it's slightly scary fight, but he knows what he's doing and takes her out with ease. No problem. And then he got my personal favorite weapon, the Anchor! I used to use this a lot in the early days, but just because it's awesome and slightly more powerful than the Buster, and the fact that you can spam it a lot. Yeah, it's like the spear in the first game, the Rebilia spear. Can spam it pretty much. Yeah, up next we have the shows level that has lots of zips that I hadn't see, even seen until recently. So Arsenal has done a very good job of finding all the possible zips that you can even pretty much find in the game that are enough easy to execute and that also saves a enough amount of time. Especially this kind of level where there's actually a ceiling and it's not too high up. It's a very, um, pretty much the perfect um, environment to attempt some zips. Oh, oh no! That's unfortunate. Luckily, the checkpoint was very briefly reached, so it's not too big of a time loss. Oh no, nice. Oh no, another one. Passed through the shield, so he could not, uh, could not destroy the fair in time. Yeah, the shield sometimes is just weird because if you have not all the gems spinning around you, and if there's like a missing hole, then that part of the shield won't be protecting you. And I think that was what happened. Yeah, like in the first game, the, the stars were pretty fixed, so you did not have too much trouble for, for those. But the crystals here are pretty thin, so there's a lot more space to, to pass through for enemies. Yeah, hence it's if you only have like one or two left, it's a pretty good um, idea to just shoot it up and like reset the shield. Because its main work is just to cover you, especially during those kind of dangerous jumps. I'm sure as far as more or less similar to Yamato Man's. It's actually very simple. No biggie with that. Strong. So, which one is the stronger? The, sp uh, the spear that could penetrate anything or the shield that could block any hit in existence? What would happen if such weapons collided with each other? Have you heard about that legend? Uh, no, I don't think so. I sometimes like think think about that and never get sleep because of that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And yet, um, then each urine stage has this couple section, especially the this underwater section because the ceiling is spikes and let's see if Asnil tries out for the zip. Oh yeah, he tried it but didn't get it. That's actually a very hard one because the ceiling is so high up and the timing is very tight with that one. Unlike the usual zips that so far we have seen, the ceiling is um, usually three to four blocks high. That's still very reasonable. Oh, hit. Well, <laughs> it's still very reasonable to do with a lower ceiling, but five blocks high ceiling is very tough to do. It's using nice way with the tornado to skip some yoga block parts. Like you can see that the tornado is being used constantly during the run. It's so useful weapon that comes to the speed running. Do not pay attention to the turrets. Uh, I can be chilly in uh, Yoshika, depending on the stages. Yeah, the cloud weapons are very similar to any Mega Man 3, so they need two hits. The first one is to reveal the cloud, and the other one to destroy the enemy inside it. Then it is behaving more or less similar to Ringman, and it's... the last one is doing other tactics that I have seen how oh, did I oh wait I just messed up messed up the borders whatever <laughs> so yeah not sure that we got uh, pretty much the same as the ring boomerang it doesn't need any further introduction last but not least Kogasa who has pretty awesome stage team I remember that this game also has a hard mode, and at one point, it, um, while playing, the game forced you to take damage in the early versions, and I think that was patched um, in the later versions that it wasn't absolutely necessary anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, not too sure. Seems like that first section has a bit of rain, so he took his time before the final jump. Just made the cycle, sadly. Yeah, it's important to be able to catch all, everything with the first cycle, so that everything else is set up. And right, the right. damage push through the lily is very scary strat, because you don't have any room for mistakes, if you want to keep up with your iframes. Like seeing those first times really made me <laughs> actually shiver a little bit. But once you practice them enough, it's not that bad. Yeah, the, the wind jumps are very scary in that section. Yeah, I did some safety measures there too. So that he could be enough close to the edge. Right. I'm just Yoshika robot before the boss. Kogasa behaves the same way as an airman, so that's why you always need some amount of HP, because to, I mean, it's pretty hard to judge those tornadoes that she shoots at you. Luckily it doesn't take too long time to get those rings done. Now on to the yeah. Yeah. I had a short buffering right there. But yeah, that was done with the... Um, well, not the robot masters, but... The first eight bosses, and then we... Head up to news level, which are the equivalent for Dr. Cossack's stages from Mega Man 4. Can we have some alien emotes in the chat? The new. I remember this level being the pain, <laughs> very painful for me because I di often died a lot during, even during a good runs. So this is a run killer <laughs> for me. And Asnel is most likely going to attempt those very scary looking skips with the tornado. 
Pretty Especially boring. this constant uh, presence of spikes make these even scarier. There's a nice damage boost to slide past those spikes. Oh, he's, he wants to skip oh, the First time. Nice. Oh, maybe third time. Oh, maybe. third time's the charm. So that's very scary looking, but it's still rather safe. So he like um, summons the tornado to make it up to the upper section and then re uh, during the transition you can still change your weapons so he resets the tornado and right away shoots to the right side. When he still has the extra height from the previous tornado he can still easily reach for the next one if it's placed enough close. So he managed to do it on third attempt. What's one really doing? Nice it's really and... nice time so. I was wondering, the Tony does activate from the bottom of the screen when you drop uh, them. I'm sorry, what? When you use the Tony, do when they reach the bottom of the screen, they do activate as well. Or do and they the, thing? And the tornado disappears when you switch weapons. So when you when he um resets, like changes into back and forth with the weapons, he resets the previous tornado and is able to shoot another one. Okay. The momentum gained from the previous one still stays, because your momentum doesn't change from that. Nice, he get the long zip throughout from that Yugi. Hey Yugi Yugi Boogie. Another flow through zip to get past those momentjis. And this very scary section, it's, well, it's not that scary, but the more faster you want to get, which means the more you are going to slide, the scarier it actually is at the same time. That's not just went and go get that extra weapon energy. But still pretty much needed on the later levels as well. I'm always way too scared, scared to slide on those platforms, especially because they are slowly falling when you are standing on them. It's the hidden sub boss from Mega Man 6. And a rat. So Nazarin wanted to make another cameo appearance. That boss is surprisingly hard to deal with with the weakness, because there's not too much space for the wave to be shot. At it because if I remember right, if you directly hit the wave, it doesn't deal as much damage as if it would hit first to the floor and then to the boss. So that the wave itself can be formed, because that's the most damaging part and not the shot itself. And there's not many um, blood, or not much space before the boss, because it, it's standing so much on the edge. This is pretty much the must, must use shield section because from those tubes, those slowly ascending enemies are going to be spawned. So if you are standing on them at the wrong time, you will immediately be taking damage. So the shield prevents that from happening. If you are, are going to get the energy balance balancer was it from Sana stage, and then this is a good time to, if you are lucky, to heal up some other weapon energies. But Asnel didn't have it, and this time... Get another long zip with the Yoshikas. And then we go to the boss room without those boss doors. And it's new. And her capsule. Or just a UFO. Yep. Big mechanical UFO. Yep. It's kinda weird, we didn't see any refights. Refights are going coming later on. Yeah, because we have to deal what? with the master plan. Oh, it's Reim! Who would have thought? The heroes of the tables problem. have turned. <laughs> I guess we can take some time to talk about the plot, <laughs> maybe. So basically, uh, there was some pictures shown in the Boon Boon Maru newspaper of. Uh, of the Byakuren, so she's trying to to find who the culprit was about this. 
Ja näin se oli taas vaan vi chose aja first. <laughs> But to our surprise it actually wasn't. So then Pia Grinzus decided to go and beat the stuff out of the other ones to find out the real culprit. Uh, that chip failed, but there's a backup one for that, and that didn't work either. Well, that's unfortunate. It's, it's not too big time loss, but... The underwater zip sections are always hard to do, because... I think you have a different pace when you ascend, because of the water mechanics. So it's different to attempt to attempt those instead of the no, other ones. Normally. Then we have very intense, bo intense boss action. Very difficult. Yeah. The worst RNG possible. We still haven't seen Reimu. So now Asnel got the W tank, which will um, heal all the weapon energies. And that's, that Joku block small skip is all, always very scary, because if you are not too familiar with the spawns... Oh no, that zip failed entirely. Yeah, the point went off. Uh... Yeah, he, um, I think Asnel thought he had taken hit, but he hadn't. No, he hadn't taken a hit, but... The tornado killed and high frames ran out. Yeah. Like it's, the ceiling is very high in that section, so that's why it's very difficult to execute. Yeah, but the late stages portions, uh, like the first uh, game, are very difficult as well to, to go first. And he also attempted one more to zip in that one, but. Couldn't carry out, carry it out to the end, unfortunately. Hey, we can oh. see some of the anchor. Well, oh no. <laughs> You can still see some mysterious weapon switches. At the very end, too, that's very painful. And I don't think he has a lot of tornadoes left to do skips and stuff, so he might have to take a slow route as well. Yeah, maybe needing to heal up some weapon energies as well. Okay, now he could get the zip done at least, so. Yeah, okay, yeah, he has enough actually, so let's go. Cool. Yeah, he also has the W tank, so in the end we don't have too much to worry. Anchor, yay! It's always painful to die at the <coughs> before the very end of the level. And next we have definitely not a taco trash variation. I don't know if this game also has that iframe glitch than the Mega Map 4 has, but the hitboxes are way more forgiven. So it's very easy to just use the ring boomer on equivalent. Right, using the tank to refill the the wind and auto scroller. You know. The classic. You can also point fingers in chat if you want to as well, since uh, pretty much uh, how uh, the buster works uh, in this game. We don't have any go hey and such uh, to use. And it's a good time to take donations. <laughs> so, who is the chat's favorite Toho girl? This is always the very basic um, topic of a deep bait or a very meaningful conversation.
And you thought it was over. But no. Only the beginning. Well, I feel like I have made a mistake by asking that question. Anyways... <laughs> I'm too bad we don't have the wire item for Mega Man 4. Maybe we could use the same... I don't know if it's even a bug. Or is it when you use the wire beneath those platforms and then you get... You see, and we'll be gaining height unless you will, will be moving. Or like to despawn the wire. Very scary section. Cannot fall down. Yeah, very similar to Mega Man 4 as well. At least, and the full screen weapon is the main weakness, and it will make things so much more easier because you don't have to juggle with the shots or anything else. We used to use the laser back in the day, but placing those Shots to pre-fire the machines was always very painful and difficult. And sometimes it um, affected a little bit of the weapon energy for the following battles as well. But actually the rain tactic will affect it even more. If you just only going to be used the uh, rain instead of others. Yeah, yeah, is then trying to send us some newspapers, but... We just don't want to read them. Nice clean fight so far, not needing to even to pick up the health for recovery. This will help, so it doesn't need it. Yeah, the refight of Nazarene is way easier because the floor is very um, wide, so it's way easier to hit the, hit her with the water wave. Nazrin, but the N N three fight. Also damaging Marissa first with the buster as for saving a little bit of time, because if you will just be using the tornado, you will, will always have to get enough close to her. But you can like fire from distance by using alternative weapons at first. A little bit low on HP, but that should be fine. Ramos machine again. You can also ricochet the layers off with the left and right side of the screen, even though it shows no any walls. But it, it will still ricochet off it, so it makes uh, killing the boss way quicker. Now the last level, we will most likely see the final zip of the game. That is totally taken, not taken from Mega Man 2. And there it goes, nice. And then we have Remus Machine. No wonder she cannot afford for food if she spends the money on high tech like that. First face done, and then the capsule one. Let's see how pleasant the RNG is. Time. And done. Nice round. GG. GG. On my detour. Sanju Sampun Gurai. Yeah. Congratulations on the round. That was very entertaining. Yeah, we had uh, some rough moments, but overall it went very well. Alrighty, well then. 
up next, we are going to have... I want to be the angel.